Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to another haul video. Excited for this one? Kind of. So it's a bit of a Christmassy one today. We've got a bit of everything here. Um, I'm going to try and organise this by where I got it from. Because I've got these from all different places. So that's that. Okay. But yeah, it's kind of like a Christmassy one. Because um, we bought this on the 27th. And it was probably one of the worst kind of days to go. Um, it was kind of empty. You know, things were still closed because obviously it's Christmas. I wanted to spend all my Christmas money. But no one was open. So it was kind of a bit a bit meh, to be honest with you. Uh, it wasn't the best. But we still got quite a bit here. Uh, we are going again this Saturday as of recording this. It's currently mm, Tuesday. Or is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. It's fucking Wednesday already. Ugh. But um, but yeah, um, I'm still excited to do this. You know how it is. You know how it is. So, three games from game, and the rest from CEX. We've got a bit of everything, so we'll go over the game ones first because there's not that many here. So I've got Monster Energy AMA Supercross Four, the official video game. And if you can hear that, still sealed. This is brand new. Um. This was quite surprising. I did try and get Hades. I know everybody could have raved on about that game. Um, but they didn't have it in stock. But they had it on the shelf. Which is a bit... A bit annoying, but hey-ho. There we go. It is... It is broken. I don't keep sealed stuff. You guys know that. Never saw the point in collecting. Kind of sealed games but yeah motocross 4 i've never played motocross games before the last time i played one of these was probably on the playstation 2 and that's how long that's been so so yeah we have the quarry i'm excited for this one i really tried my best to avoid stuff for this um obviously the new one's out now is it devil in me the devil in me or something like that um but I was waiting for this to come down in price a bit because, you know, I didn't want to pay for it. Not that I didn't want to pay full price for it. I couldn't pay full price for it at the moment. And I think it's made by the same people that made the dark pictures. But it's not part of the dark pictures, if you get what I mean. I don't think it was amazing. Uh, from what I've kind of read up and seen about it. I don't think it was incredible. But it wasn't a bad game. Um, so, you know, here's what it is. And finally, we've got Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm going to pay £17 for this. I should probably go over pricing. I think this was 17 I think. That was part of the 3 for 2 with this. And then Caitlin got a game. Um, so, yeah. And then the quarry was kind of pre-owned. But... I really need to give Mass Effect a full try. Um, I remember getting annoyed with Mass Effect 1, leaving it. I played through Mass Effect 2. I think I got everybody killed at the end. Kind of rage quit and I never played 3. Uh, I've started playing Andromeda. Um, and then I kind of stopped because I think I was playing another game at the time. And then just never went back. But I think I really need to give this game a go. It's 100 gig. But it is PS4. So I am excited for that. I will give it a go. Whether I record it or not, I'm not sure. Um, I might do. We'll see. We'll see how much time I have and stuff. Because I know Mass Effect's a big game. But yeah, I haven't played much. I know that Mass Effect fans love it. And they live for it. I, sh I, just, I just could never get into Mass Effect, I'll be honest with you. I just couldn't do it. Right. Over the PS5 one, so I've got Dolman on the PS5. I own it on the PS4. Now I own it on the PS5. I don't know if it's any good or not. I've never ever, I've never watched a review on it. I bought it for the PS4 with the intent of playing it. Saw that it had a PS5 upgrade, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just get the upgrade. It's free. Never played it. So we'll have to see. So I can open these ones. Make sure it's got the right game in it. So yeah, we'll have to see if this is any good or not. Um, and we'll get around to it. I'm now trying to daily upload 
on my well, I'm doing two videos a day on my main channel and I'm trying to daily upload on my second channel. Um I've been a very busy boy. So that might get played through on a second channel. I'm not sure yet. We have the Callisto Protocol, and I'm actually going to play this after I've done this video here, because it should be done installing. I am very much looking forward to this. Now, I've read the reviews, I've seen gameplay. People are moaning because it's not like Dead Space. What does that say there? Does that say Dead Space? No. Callisto Protocol. Stop overhyping games. It's ridiculous. So many games get absolutely butchered today by people because they go... Oh, Callisto Protocol, oh, it looks like Dead Space. Oh, but it's made by the same people, or the same company, or people that worked on the old ones. So, Dead Space has a cult-like following, right? I've never did, I've never played Dead Space before, um, so I couldn't comment. But everyone's moaning because this is nothing like Dead Space, and the combat's a bit dodgy from what I've, from what I've seen on reviews and stuff. Well, that's your own fault for overhyping it. So I paid 40 for this. Uh, I was going to get it brand new. Um, but it was still full price. And I thought, well, I've seen it in uh, CEX for for 40 So, yeah. Playthrough coming. Well, it will probably be up by the time this comes out. Because I've still got about seven of these to upload before this one. So, so yeah. Uh, we got four PS4 games. We got Wolfenstein 2. Oh, yes. I'm so looking forward to this. Um... We only have two more Wolfenstein games to play, of the like the new kind of. I don't even know what you class them as. It's not trilogy. They're not trilogies, but the new game. I'll put it that way. Move that over so we have more space. But yeah, Wolfenstein. It's great. If you've never played this game, honestly, you're paying no more than a tenner for any of these games, right? I nearly bought Young Bloods, but I bought that on eBay, so that's coming soon as well. Young Bloods and Wolf, uh, Wolfenstein Two, or five or each. Wolfenstein 1, The New Order, and uh, Old Bloods are like 5 to £10 each either. You're paying less than £30 for a four-game series now. It's definitely worth doing, 100%. I loved Wolfenstein. It was so good. I still don't know what channel that's on yet. But as of recording this, I've beaten Wolfenstein, The New Order, and Old Bloods. Um, whether that's, like I said, on the main channel or not, I don't know yet have to see how the copyright system and YouTube's kind of age restriction stuff works for that because it shows bad symbols. Rage 2 for the PS4. I actually need to make sure I don't own that already. I probably should have done that first. No, I do not. So I own that on the Xbox One. Okay. Never played it. Never in my life have I played this game. So I'm really looking forward to this. Again, I don't know if I'll make a one-off video or whether I'll put a playthrough up on it. I'm not sure yet with time and stuff. And we'll get around to it. I have lots of games to play through at the moment. The channel is very, very busy. But yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I remember playing through Rage 1. I remember, I think I beat Rage 1 and then Rage 2 came out and I just never played it because it just never appealed to me at the time. And now I'm kind of filling up my shelves. You know, and I'm seeing newer games come out and stuff like that. And I mean, £4, if you don't like it that much, you haven't paid that much for it, have you? The Last of Us 2. Yeah, I've seen the stuff. I don't think The Last of Us 2 is a particularly decent game. That was an, an email about eBay. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a particularly good game. Um... But you know, it is what oh, it's a flipped up. That's quite cool. I like that. So the man, well, not the manual. The, the cover is is two. It's a two thing. That's cool. But yeah, no, um, they they completely ruined what story they were building uh, for this. But you know, fifteen pound, I'll play it. You know, I'll beat it just to say I've done it, and then that'll be that. Because. Yeah, I think I think The Last of Us 2 is pretty bad, to be honest with you. Hitman 2, the Steelbook Edition. For the PS4. There will be no such thing as not taking my codes that have definitely been used. So I own a steelbook for Hitman the first season on Xbox. I don't think it's the same one. 
Uh, oh, it is. It's the exact same one. Okay, so it's the exact same game I've already got, but I got it for PS4. I like the sleeve, I like the white, and I like the steelbook. You know, we, we're going through a craze at the moment collecting steelbooks. And it looks cool. So, this is going to be annoying. I hate it when they do this. They stick the stickers on the cardboard bit and not the, the steel. CEX, please. Right, we've got two PC, one Xbox One, and four 360 games. So I did I did an oopsie and I bought COD 4 again. Yeah, I didn't think I already had it, and I already had it. So big oopsie. And Dawn of War, Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War, 50p. So if it's a terrible game, it cost me 50p. So um, I'm kind of going on a PC craze at the moment. Um, I bought a ridiculous amount of games on Steam uh, because it's obviously Christmas and they had so many good offers like Steam is ridiculously good for like the price you're paying and you're looking at stuff you know especially some of the older games like I, I think I paid I paid a £10 for the entire Max Payne trilogy or something like something ridiculous like that now, I already own all of those games, but now I own them on Steam, and my PC is a lot easier to record than some of these older consoles. So, But yeah, Warhammer. Uh, I loved Vermintide. Um, obviously, Dark Tide's coming out. Uh, I've got Space Marine on the 360. I have some of these Warhammer games. I'd like to play them and give them a go, but this is obviously... I know it's nothing like Vermintide at all. This is more like, uh, like Halo Wars or Age of Empires or that kind of style. But again, 50p with the fattest manual on the planet. Look at the size of that bad boy. So yeah, let me know. Dawn of War, is it any good? I have no idea. Like, I know there are some Warhammer fans out there um, that know a lot more about that than me. And obviously there are so many Warhammer games. I don't even know where to start. So the other one I got from game is Doom Slayers Collection. So this has... Doom 1, Doom 2, Doom 3, and Doom 2016 for £13. Now, Doom 3 and obviously 2016 we've already played on the channel. That's already done. Doom 3 I want to play. Doom 1 and 2 I have no idea about. So, you know, the Xbox is quite an easy system to record on. I give it a go. I'll give it a go. And now we're on to the 360. So, we'll start first. We've got Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Because of the steelbook, I'm, I'm fairly positive I already own Vegas 2. The sleeve is destroyed. But it's a steelbook, so, you know, that's not too bad. We've got the discs, we've got the manuals, we've got the very cool case. Two pound. That's a win. I don't mind spending a bit of money on steelbooks. Obviously, metal. A bit harder to do. I have a game called The Saboteur. Um, it's kind of come up a bit more now. Like, a lot of people need to be talking about this game. Um, I have no idea if it's any good or not. It's quite a cool slip. Manuals and slips are great, but like I'm not, I'm not that bothered about them. To be honest, if it doesn't come with, it doesn't come with. But yeah, I've never played this one. It's kind of like if it's the one I'm thinking it is. There's a few games I've seen like World War Two style, but it's like like a like a GTA, like an open worldy World War kind of style when you're sabotaging. Obviously, hence the name, like German outposts and stuff like that. I think, don't quote me on that. I have no idea. So we'll see. Four pound, not too bad. And finally, I've got two Red Faction games. So we've got Red Faction Armageddon, a pound. Red Faction Gorilla, 50p. So it's probably terrible. But I've got a lot of uh, kind of like hidden love for <coughs> Red Faction because I played the original Red Faction on the PlayStation 2 15 years ago. So there is life on Mars. Hell on Mars. Unleash the destructive powers of the Nano Forge. No idea. Never played it. I've only ever played the first Red Faction. Um, that one comes with a manual. 
this one comes with a manual so yeah i know there's quite a few red faction games now um in fact you can probably get you know you can get some of them on a, a ps4 so that'd be quite cool raid military compounds Rescue revolutionaries and sabotage supply lines. Tear down strongholds brick by brick with the most realistic destruction to date. So yeah, we'll see. We will see. So as halls go, it's not actually atrocious, is it, to be honest with you? Um, I think I spent about £120, but Callisto Protocol was 40 That was still full price. You know, Quarry was 35 so I have I have spent a bit. The Last of Us was fifteen. So I think I've definitely got my money's worth. Callisto Protocol Let's Play. I'm going to start that now. Wolfenstein Two will be the one after that. But then after that, we're kind of we've got a lot to do. So I apologise for sniffing. It's pouring it down with rain. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go and play the Callisto Protocol. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're game enthusiasts on this channel. We like games. We like collecting games. We like talking about them. I've got a Discord channel. Link in the description. Along with all my other social medias. Send me a message. I answer all the messages. I answer all the comments. You can leave a comment. Um, I just think Discord is kind of a place. If I see the message actually come up. It's more of a private place. That we can obviously have more personal conversations. And uh, yeah. Subscribe if you're new around here. You know, we we the channel is kind of slowly going up a little bit. It's, it's really nice to see. You know, I've gained kind of six, seven subscribers in the last kind of three days. It's been really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. It's been your boy. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.